Hi, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and I am somewhere new. Uh, our previous home in Southbourne on one side of Bournemouth is no more. Unfortunately, we just we had to move. The, uh, the building was becoming kind of unusable for us. And uh, fortuitously for us, uh, a very, very big guitar shop, drum centre, like sort of music hub on the other side of town, invited us to move in and be a permanent fixture on the ground floor. And we have our own shop within a shop here now at the Absolute Music Centre and some of you will have seen on social media the kind of posts of us moving and it has been a mad time. I'm happy to make a video about that. If you have any questions leave a comment on this video and maybe I can answer them in a video about the move and about our new place and what's going to be the same and what's going to be different. But today we're going to take a look at four ukuleles because I arrived here at Absolute Music for the first time and we had a delivery of Carla Revelators. Californian made Revelator ukuleles designed by Pete Howlett. We have our very first Mango Revelator. We have our first Carla Koa Revelator and we have a couple of um, different grade uh, Karina Revelators. So we're going to take a look at all four of them today. I've been so excited all week to film this video for you in our new space. Let's begin. We're going to start today's video with a look at the first ever Carla Revelator we've had in Mango. Now, I quite like Mango. <laughs> 15 years ago, Mango was so unpopular. I remember we had one or two ukuleles would come through made of Mango and people just did not want that wood. But as time has gone on, more and more players are playing fingerstyle. More and more players are searching for a richer sounding ukulele. And that's where Mango has really come into its own. You get lots of different types of mango. You don't tend to get them graded or kind of defined by their location of origin like you would with koa or um, Pacific Island acacia, etc. But what you do find with mango is that some of them have just the most stunning features and some of them can be quite straight. Some of them can be quite, um, you, know, you get sported mango. You get woods that have seen, you know, they've seen a life as a tree before becoming a ukulele. And that's what I love about high quality mango, is it tells a story before you even play it. Carla have actually proclaimed this to be master grade mango on our invoice, and uh, I could believe that. With a satin finish, it doesn't pop in quite the same way as Koa, but under the lights of the shop here, you can really see some three dimensional uh, wood grain coming through. You have an ebony fingerboard and bridge. You've got bridge pins here with a Korean nut and saddle, which is um, something carried over from Pete's time building the Revelators. You have that shell inlay halfway up the fingerboard, and I love this. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Now we were laughing yesterday, is it a mango tree? Is it a leaf? Is it a scorpion? It's quite hard to tell. And at the time of filming, I don't actually know, but I do know that it has gold open gear Grover tuners with black buttons. It's a mango neck on this as well to match. And I love the points here where it all meets up and matches. It's always so perfect on each revelator. It's a slimline body, so it's about half the width, uh, half the depth of a normal ukulele. It fits comfortably to the body. I wish it was left-handed so that when I played it, it looked normal, but I'm gonna give it a play for you now, regardless, my way around, and I really hope that this thing sings for you like it sings for me. Mango. Thank you. 
something about the mango one makes me want to play really sad songs for a really long time. It's really emotive. Makes me want to play it like a baritone. Next up today, we're going to take a look at two more Karina Revelators. This is the NSP KORT and this is the NSM KORT. Now, the difference between them is the grade of wood. Both are Karina, but if we dissect that code for you, so the NSP would be Nautilus style, so the teardrop sound hole. Premium, that's this, Karina Tenor, or the Nautilus style master grade Karina Tenor. And if you look at the two together, you can see which one's premium and which one's master. The premium is gorgeous, really lovely figuring on this ukulele all the way around. But the master grade one just has, it's like someone's layered another two pieces of wood <laughs> underneath the surface that just work in complete contrast. It's like a spider's web on the top. And then my understanding of it with the master grade ones is that the is that the top is master grade Karina, but they use premium Karina for the back and sides. Still a very noticeable difference to many. You're going to prefer one over the other. And if you prefer the premium, then congratulations, that's a cheaper model. So what is the spec of a standard Nautilus style revelator? This is this is a standard master grade revelator. So you're an ebony fingerboard and bridge once again with the bridge pins with the Korean nut and saddle the nut width is 1.475 inches so it's not 38 mil nut width but it's got a nice wide string spacing I'll put the measurements in the bottom of the screen here when I can find a ruler in this new shop you don't get the inlay on the headstock of the normal revelators but you still do get those gold open gear Grover tuners the Nautilus style teardrop, those that have been following the Howlet revelators from the beginning, you would have had a normal, almost circular sound hole and then the Nautilus came next. I imagine over time, both of those will be introduced in the Carla revelator line, but the Nautilus one was always more popular. And I think if you look at this instrument dead on, it's the one that makes the most visual impact. So we have a premium and a master grade Karina tenor. Let's give them both a play and see what you think.
final ukulele of the day today is a Revelator in Koa, limited edition model that Carla are doing right now. I just cannot get enough of how this ukulele looks on camera. Look at the dimensions, the depth, the drama in that Koa. And it continues all the way around. Really lovely piece of wood. It's another Nautilus style revelator with a, an ebony fingerboard and bridge. You have the bridge pins with a carine nut and saddle, 1.475 inch uh, nut width, with a really nice wide string spacing, and the limited edition models come with this gorgeous inlay, which is looking more and more like a Pokemon to me of some kind from here. You have the gold open gear tuners with the black buttons. We've changed the strings on this ukulele. It's it arrived with the kind of standard proprietary two wound strings, two worth browns. Um, but the, um, the factory setup on this ukulele just wasn't very good. Um, the strings had overstretched as well. We found that the, we had to change one and we thought, Do you know what, let's put a set of strings on this that we know will work well and really enhance it. So this ukulele is gonna be listed and it's gonna come with Ukologic. So it still has the wound low G, it's a smooth wound low G, but with the hard tension pink fluorocarbon Ukologic strings. And Honestly, it's like putting performance enhancing steroids on a ukulele, putting this kind of string on it because this ukulele just sings. Uh, Gunzi was taking photos of it yesterday for the website and it's the first time any of us have really stopped for days and we just looked at each other and we didn't even say anything. We just gave each other a nod like, this is a special ukulele. And I actually feel that way about all of these on this particular batch. Um, the first few revelators Carla did you know, there was this kind of, oh, they feel like a howlet. We were almost surprised by it. And now we expect it. And it's fantastic that they've delivered with four instruments here for us today. So let's close out this video today with this Koa Revelator. Let's give it a play and see what you think. So there you have it folks, our first video from here in our new home is in the books. Please do let me know which of the revelators was your favorite in the comment section below. And uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you have any questions about our new space or anything you wanna learn, please do ask away. I'm very excited to teach you all that can't visit us about it and get those that will be visiting in the future excited to come to us. Um, I'm going to start doing a more regular 10 ukuleles you know where i was kind of looking at different brands um because i have uh, the the space and a kind of quiet space to uh, to make these videos again for us all now so um if there's anything you want to see featured in the coming weeks please do let me know if you want to contact the shop our number hasn't changed it's still 01202430820 my email address is still alex at ukulele.co.uk thank you so much for your kind words about the move in uh, on social media in the last few weeks and those that have sent us cards and uh, um, and sent us emails and, and just generally the the positivity in the world it's rare to find it so when you get it you just want to soak it all up and we've been soaking it all up for the last few weeks so thank you very much um, I will be back very very soon